Right, and then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or... Don't say injection inside. Or almost a cleaning, because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that so that you're going to have to use... I'm not a doctor, but I'm like a person that has a good you-know-what. Please keep that you-know-what away from me. When we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, and I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body. Bring the light inside the body sounds so pervy and like priest molesty. You can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that too. Sounds interesting. None of this sounds interesting. This all sounds extremely stupid. These are all of Trump's ideas for how to cure coronavirus because hydrochloroquine was kind of a dud. We'll get into all that, but let's just tackle this first thing that he put in front of us, which is so stupid. He thinks that one of the solutions for coronavirus is to inject people with disinfectant. Right, and then I see the disinfectant injection inside or... So, drink bleach? Is that it? And the other thing he wants to do is use light in your body? The whole time, Deborah Burks is sitting there like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And when I said I would study all those things, I was just trying to get you to shut up about it. You could tell someone said something in a meeting and it was kind of scientific and no one knew how to get through to Trump. So someone was like, it's kind of like using disinfectant. We like disinfect people. And he looked over at Deborah, and she was just like, I will we'll look into it. The actual reason behind all this stuff, the actual things that he's talking about, as it's been reported by a bunch of journalists who are like trying to find a kernel of truth behind whatever the hell bullshit he's trying to say. Here is my favorite quote about it. Bill Bryan, who leads the Science and Technology Directorate at the Department of Homeland Security, presented an, quote, emerging result from departmental research that suggested UV light, heat, and humidity are detrimental to COVID-19. Where did this come from? Where did this medical breakthrough come from? An emerging result, which is already kind of a loss because an emerging result is nowhere near like if they had something that was good, they would say, well, this is a win and a cure and it looks promising even, but no, they downgrade it to emerging result. It came from where? The CDC? The National Institute of Health? No, it came from the Department of Homeland Security. You can't make this stuff up. So the people who were like, let's bomb it, are like, let's use heat on the virus. Yes, of course they would say that. That's exactly what they would say. And Trump is out there reporting it, and Deborah Burks is like, maybe if I don't move, he won't see me. It's like a big, stupid T-Rex. You might be asking yourself, why is this happening now? The answer is obvious. It's because hydrochloroquine didn't work out. He was pushing hydrochloroquine for a very long time, and they did a trial, and it turned out that it did more harm than good, and now he is flailing. Well, then we'll put the sun in people. At least hydrochloroquine sounded like something medical. This just sounds like, let's eat Tide Pods. Which, by the way, guess what's trending right now? You can't make this stuff up. Everybody watch TYT. You're going to love it.